I have made a couple of new mounts. But this one is about the Bell Qualifier helmet. We make two different versions. So this is the standard version, which allows you to mount the light or the GoPro independently of each other. Uh, and this is the light mount, which allows you to mount both at the same time. So just a few things about our mounts. Uh, they are helmet specific. That means that the mounting surface is designed specifically to mount up to the individual helmet that they were made for. They're made out of a hard rubberized material and it's impact resistant. It really is going to be tough to break. Like you can really slam these things into the ground. They've been tested. So we've run them over with trucks and smash them with sledgehammers and drop bricks on them. And they just keep on working like they're they're very sturdy. They are mounted to the helmet with this 3M double sided mounting tape. It's the same stuff that GoPro uses on their sticky mounts. And it's extremely strong. We actually glue the tape to the mount uh, with Gorilla Clear Grip glue. We sell replacement strips of tape if you need to take your mount off of your helmet for some reason. We sell the Gorilla Clear Grip glue in the little tiny bottles uh, with the replacement tape. We uh, take into consideration a tip back angle. So if you can see here at the top of the visor I port, we make it so that the camera is parallel with that. So that way you're actually able to see out at what you're actually looking at. It's cool because it gives you that first person perspective. It allows you to see what you're seeing as you're driving the vehicle around. Our mount doesn't impede uh, the air vents in any way because it is uh, built around all of that. We reverse the screw direction for the GoPro screw. You can see here there's a set battery side door and it opens and closes and traditional GoPro accessories have the screw that goes through this direction and it makes it hard to get that door open without having to take the screw out or take the GoPro off of the helmet. So one of the cool things about the light mount is that this is fully adjustable. So you can point it down uh, as far as you would want to be able to, you point it straight up. I like to keep it about in line with the camera. So that way the camera gets a really good uh, illumination and get good night riding footage. The only other thing that I want to talk about is why chin mounting. And on this specific helmet, uh, there's a couple of interesting things. So for this helmet specifically, since it has this breather up top, you couldn't actually mount a GoPro like you would normally with a, one of the GoPro sticky foots on top of the helmet. There's no under visor. One cool thing about our mounts is that it does put the camera right in front of your mouth, so you do get better audio reception if you are doing any kind of motor vlogging. Yeah, so which is cool because then you can you can shoot for both YouTube and Instagram at the same time without getting up any like pixels really. The really cool thing about chin mounting is it is the lowest possible place on the helmet that you can mount it without losing that first person perspective and the, and the gimbal effect of having it mounted to your head, which is why we like it. it. also keeps it centered with your point of view. It really does increase the depth of field uh, that the video is capturing and makes it look like the terrain that you're riding over is like what you saw when you actually experienced it, not like flat when you're looking down on the terrain from up here. So if you want to pull off the mount, what I would recommend is just pressing up on it from the bottom hard enough and it'll peel off. The first thing that you want to do is figure out where it, we intended the mount to be mounted. Move it around. Um, it'll be in center line with basically this chin vent here and slightly up from the bottom if you are using the street bike version. So once you find that spot, you got it centered, uh, we're gonna supply you with an alcohol cleaning pad. Uh, so clean the surface to get any hand oils or dirt off and peel the backing off the tape. Then just line it up where you know it's supposed to go. Kind of pull back on the mounting wings just a little bit and then set it in there and press it down. The mount should be basically there for the life of the helmet unless you want it to come off. These things are very secure. So last but not least, I wanna show you guys what comes in the box when you buy one of our mounts. You're gonna get the mount of your choosing. Handful of stickers that come with our mounts. So you get a bunch of those. You're going to get our warranty card, which has all of our product support information. Um, we do cover our mounts with a lifetime warranty. So if you ever break it in any way or need help or just don't like it or whatever, uh, hit us up and we'll replace it. You're gonna get a couple of alcohol cleaning pads. You're going to get a screw. And if you need accessories for your GoPro, we sell battery side doors and replacement lenses and 90 degree adapters. So check that stuff out if you're uh, in the market for that as well. Click the link in the description below, buy one of our mounts, 
Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow our podcast. Check it out. Podcast. Where we interview big names in the hard enduro racing world as well as companies and, and we talk to a bunch of cool people on there. Follow all of our other social channels and I think I already said this but bye now.